Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the Game Maker Surgery where we take your broken projects and we try and fix them live on air for everybody. If you are brave enough and you have an issue you want me to try and fix you, all the information is like down below, you go fill out a form, you have to have made some effort to try and fix the problem yourself, it has to be kind of an isolated problem, an issue, bug or whatever is going on with your game, I can't write your whole game for you. Yeah, if you, if you meet those criteria and you're willing, um, I might just uh, try and fix fix your issue for you. Today we've got a uh, sound effects issue from Maddie S uh, who writes, uh, Hey Sean, I figured I'd take you up on your trade offer with a sound effects issue I've been banging my head against the wall with for the past two weeks. On the fourth frame of my player attack animation, I have a sound effect, SN slash play. I was honestly really happy when I figured out how to do this on my own, but now I'm having a really weird and specific issue. The effect plays no matter the direction the player is looking, but if the last movement input was down and right, it doesn't play. I've checked up and right, down and left, and down and right, and those all work fine. It's very very specific, down and right, okay. Uh, there's a list in the message of all the things they've tried, which is very helpful. Um, and then, any thoughts would be awesome. I've been following your tutorials for a while now, and they've always made uh, they've made something I've always thought was out of reach into something I can actually do. Awesome, that's that's definitely the help. So uh, yeah, glad I could help. Thanks for all you do. Uh, no worries. Um, let's uh, see if we can uh, find out what's going wrong. So first of all, we just want to sort of verify the issue so we understand it ourselves. Um, so this is the game. Um, we've got yeah, we've got a little sword slash. That's cool. This looks very. I'm seeing the AR. Yep, I'm seeing the ARPG series in here. That's cool. So it works no matter what. But apparently, if we our last direction was down and right, aha, it doesn't play. It looked like it worked for a second there, but maybe I just let go too early. My first thought, because they've said they've tried things like um, like flooring the image index um, and so on, is to assume that uh, maybe down and right is actually putting them to not the image index they they think they are. Um, and because of how image index works, it can overlap and your image might still... It's actually like, it will, will look like the correct flip frame because it kind of wraps around. Um, and so you will assume there's no issue, but it might actually be an image index of like 30 something if they're using the image index specifically um, as a way to test the condition. So first of all, we'll just, we, we need to see how, how they're doing this. It might just be something a little more obvious. Okay, audio play sound SN slash. So this, this is our problem line here apparently. Um, so if image index equals three or single equals, uh, a game maker lets you do this, and it's absolute. It, it's fine in game maker. It won't actually change it, but I, like I do recommend just as good practice, especially if you want to learn other programming languages and stuff later on. Um, use double equals when you're doing a comparison. Single equals when you're actually setting something. So when you say something, you know something like this is single equals when you're setting something. When you're comparing something and asking, does this equal as a condition? Um, use double equals. It's just the technical meaning. Again, Game Maker doesn't care. It'll it'll let you write that, and it, it, it's not bothered by it. Um, so if you're ever only ever going to work in Game Maker, then maybe who cares? But uh, just uh, just for me, please do, do it for me. Uh, what I was looking for here was to see if you we were checking specifically what the image index equals, and we are now. Think like for the most part, even if you like are off a little bit, like if it's working consistently in every direction, I don't think the issue is with like um, like a, a rounding uh, problem. So what does it, my suspicion is maybe, like initially, just because it wasn't mentioned as something you tried, um, is to think that maybe um, your image index just simply is like a, a way too high value depending on how you're you're getting it when you, you, you move down, right? This might even just be my fault, like, you know, I you, this was based on my code of like you know, uh, how you move around and so on, but uh, it was a while ago, so how does that work? Okay, yeah, so I, I remember this. This is the, the animation stuff and how we work out our direction. But we take local frame, we add like a carnal direction. We like, yeah, we we have all four directions in one sprite. Um, and so what we do in the ARPG is we take, um, like say you've got like eight frames and two in each direction, and then uh, we basically use that total number of frames divided by four and work out kind of where we should be based on what direction we're facing using our direction variable. Now this is interesting. Cardinal dirt round is a macro for round direction divided by 90. I can't remember if that's, it might well be my fault, like it might be the exact line I used here. But when we think about this, um, it kind of provides a fourth option. I'm almost certain this is going to be the source of your issue. Because if we think about it, like zero is to the right and then 90 is up, 
180 to the left, uh, and then 270 down, 360 is to the right again. So as I was thinking earlier, like I think all the issues, since this issue is specifically being caused by down and to the right, um, that implies that maybe Cardinal Durr is like curving, in, like would normally we would think this to go like 0, 1, 2, or 3, right? In fact, I'm just going to check. What did I use in the ARPG? Yes, I felt like I used div for this, but maybe I didn't. Well, I made it like even more complicated way back when. I'm not sure I knew how to do that. Oh, I see. And this part of the video here is where I, yeah, I came up with a replacement for it that says like, oh yeah, I wrote this complicated line, but it could also just be this. But uh, yeah, I have, you know, this is kind of my fault. I've baked kind of an issue into this, right? So like whenever we get a value that's between two, uh, between 305 and 360, um, it's going to give us a cardinal direction of four. Now, <laughs> funnily enough, I think that doesn't usually matter um, because in our player animation, um, if cardinal direction is 4, it's just going to loop back around the, the image index. If you have an 8 frame long sprite, which has image index 0 to 7, right, and you have image index of 9, you know, that doesn't exist technically, so it just wraps around, and it's going to give you image index uh, 1, right, it's going to go 0 and then 1. If, if you have a wrap function or something like that, you could use that in here on the cardinal dir. You could also turn this into a function instead. Um, but there's a quick sort of one line way we can fix it just using like a, a tertiary, um, I think it's called that anyway, a tertiary something or other, I'll find the name and put it on the screen. Anyway, um, what we can do is we can turn this uh, into a condition that says uh, round direction uh, greater than 90 uh, is, uh, round direction divided by 90 uh, is greater than 3, right, so that means it's like 4, right, there, that's our, our one exception, right, it could come back as 4, um, we just want to turn that to 0. If it is greater than 3, then uh, we're going to return 0 instead, right? This question mark here will just say, if this condition is true, uh, give us this, um, otherwise, with this colon, give us the thing afterwards, and what we want to get instead is just whatever the result actually was, right? So it's like, if it's greater than 3, give us 0, otherwise, uh, just do what you were doing before. And I think that should actually, like, uh, just kind of fix everything. Um, so let's just sort of run this again. Um, so we've still got, like, our good directions and moving around here and everything, that all works fine. Um, I'm just holding down right now. Uh, it seems to be fixed. So I'm pretty, you know, without doing any more testing, I'm pretty happy to say that was the issue. It makes logical sense to me. And it's kind of my fault. So sorry about that. It was a long series. I was bound to do something that kind of screwed people in a weird anti-intuitive way. That's just the nature of making a really long code series, right? I'm sure there's other stuff like this in there as well. Um, sorry. Uh, but there you go. Um, that's uh, that. That should be good now. And just so that you understand again where the issue came from, it's uh, you know we were boiling our cardinal direction down naught one two and three. The problem here is that we were sometimes getting a four, and uh, normally that doesn't matter. But that kind of also because it doesn't matter, it makes it harder to find the bug because it looks like everything is going fine because uh, our image index is just wrapping around whenever we got a 4. So usually it's still showing the correct sprite in that circumstance, which is why this issue would never come up in the past, never came up when I wrote the code initially. Um, but if you are specifically checking your image index like numerical value for something and you're expecting it to be within the range of your sprite index, that might not necessarily always be true, which is what happened here. Um, but there you go, that's, uh, that's how you fix that issue. Um, I hope that was helpful. Sorry for kind of causing it in the first place. Anyway, yeah, thank you very much, Maddie, for sending this in and giving me the opportunity to fix this. Hopefully it helps other people maybe having weird issues with frames and stuff in the uh, RPG series. Um, if you've got something that you'd like me to try and fix again, like the information is down there below, uh, go and submit it in. Um, it takes a brave person to send in their work. So again, credit to uh, Maddie for sending in the work and let's just take a look at their code. And, uh, and, and sort it out. Uh, thank you to all my patrons for funding what I do. Uh, if you want to become one of them, you can. Patreon.com forward slash SeanJS. You can help vote on the topics I cover. Um, you can help fund uh, me edit getting my editor to make my videos way, way better and uh, make more of them more often and all that good stuff. It all happens via my Patreon. So, uh, yeah, please go do that if you can uh, afford to do so. Uh, if not, thank you very much nonetheless for watching all the way to the end of this video and I will catch you all next time.